Unsolved 1990, the case of 48-year-old Brian Adams. Brian Adams was shot in the back garden of his home in Thorndike Avenue, Alverston, on the 14th of August 1990. He was shot twice at point-blank range with a single-barrel shotgun at about 11.30pm by a man wearing a balaclava. He had just returned home on his new Kawasaki motorcycle that he had bought with his girlfriend when he was shot. It was thought that as Brian Adams had got home on his motorbike, that the man wearing the balaclava had come out of the shadows and put the barrel of the gun into the back of Brian Adams' motorcycle crash helmet and then fired twice. One shot was said to have deflected off of Brian Adams' shoulder and to have then entered his head, whilst the other was said to have gone through his throat. The police said that they thought that he had been shot with an astrocyclope or vanguard type shotgun and that his murder bore the hallmarks of a professional hit. The shots were heard by neighbours who said that they saw the gunman run off along a dark alley. Brian Adams' body was found by one of his neighbours slumped yards from his back door. When the police reviewed his case in 2004, they said that they believed that someone knew who murdered him and why they did it. No motive was ever determined. It was said that people close to the case still thought that it could be solved. Brian Adams had run a heavy plant windscreen replacement business. He had had three children. Nothing more is known about his case and it remains unsolved to this day.